peace and love. Zero, zero, zero on the clock. Sending you all positive energy, high vibes, success on your entrepreneurship, all love, all positivity. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments or any questions or any requests in my description below. I'll be glad to assist you. Bear with me. It's actually windy today. I hope you all can hear me clearly. If not, I'll be back on to redo the video. <laughs> today, I'm going to be speaking about Sufism and how it's practiced in Islam. And they actually practice Muhammad. And it's also a practice of Muslims, Christianity, and also Hinduism. There were different nationalities that came together to practice Sophism, okay? Now, when we're dealing with Sophism, it's a practice to be able to have soul evolution by connecting from the heart space. The heart space was known to be the seat of the soul, the harmonizing field, to be able to connect and be in residence with God by operating out of love, devotion, faith, heaven discipline, heaven structure, and connecting with the principles of Sophism. Okay, one of the magic ingredients was faith. <laughs> faith was essential because it helps to assist with the foundation of development of the heart. Okay, when we're dealing with the heart, just like several nationalities, because I study different cultures and the practices, African spirituality, China, we have different allegories, but the moral of the story is the same. Being able to have the understanding of oneself, the connection with God from that heart space, from going through the challenging initiations and experiencing them and being able to persevere through the challenging moments and having the understanding of transcendence from the ultimate understanding of the world and the truth of the world. Okay, so learning is the importance of Sufism. Okay, learning, having that love, having that faith, faith, excuse me, and having that understanding of enlightenment. As we have the understanding of growth, 333 on the clock, we have the understanding of ascension because once we learn, we always grow and we can never stop learning. It's eternally for us. Okay, so in Sophism, they went by four principles. And the four principles was known to be in a form of Tessawa was the name of it. And it the first principle was oneness of God, having the understanding of God. <laughs> and once we have the understanding of God, we have the understanding of the universe. And we also had the understanding of oneself. So it's all a process that we have to go through. Now, the second principle was forming a relationship with God by meditating, by chanting, by praying, by fasting, okay? And once we have that relationship, it has us to be open up to experience a higher level of consciousness to be able to experience 
facing oneself and fixing the things that is no longer serving for the highest good removing them so we'll be able to ascend and be able to perceive that higher level of consciousness okay and in traditions worldwide they use fasting to be able to clear the mind the body and the spirit okay as we cleanse and we do not eat anything it brings us closer to God because we're clearing out all chemicals and all stagnant energy and we're able to be able to receive those intuitive pulses from the universe really quickly and it's because we are cleansed we are purified five 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 on the clock also they went through the third principle of purification of self releasing greed ego low suppressed emotions in order to be in residence with the God and operating out of the heart which is love highest vibration to admit to is love once we have the understanding we cannot be led by ego because ego is always going to lead us in the wrong places but once we are led by the heart the heart takes us to beautiful places it opens us up to beautiful things and it have us to be in that field of harmony love peace and abundance okay Sufism actually practice poetry chanting powerful rituals sing and dance to be able to connect with God okay and it helped them with personal growth social overstanding love and compassion service to others great communication of service inner transcendence and ascending to God once we have the overstanding of oneself we then have the overstanding of the universe how we is one huge collective consciousness one mind and we're all here co-creating but we have to have the overstanding we have to have the experiences in order to grow we have to have the energy of discipline so they use sufism as a mystical practice to evolve and be able to face all the changes that need to be changed and also to help them to be of service to others as well and this was a practice that was used by christians by islam by muslims by hinduism and they were all able to come together as one and practice the laws of sufism okay and it's about having an understanding to connect with being diverse and be able to use that mind matter its power and be able to transcend from different experiences okay and much can be learned by being diverse being open-minded and looking at things from a bird's eye view in order to be able to connect with soul evolution you know and not sticking to one thing you know so this is a great practice of spiritual discernment and initiation and we cannot learn anything without being able to have the understanding we have to be able to experience it because that's how we're going to ascend by us experiencing it for ourselves and also having that awareness and being observant but the true essence of the soul 
and the true power is being able to be built. Feeling that experience of meditating and chanting and feeling that powerful energy from the universe circulate all through your body. Feeling that power of them intuitive pulses circulating through the brain. Okay. Transforming that crown chakra, that purple into gold. We are that powerful. And once we tap into learning and ascending, it's going to awaken. It's going to open us up to a whole different level of the world. Okay? And that's what soul theism teaches. Okay? Very powerful religion. Okay? And very disciplined, organized grounded and structured just like African spirituality for an example so they had a actually master and they called him Remy and he was a spiritual master who enforced spirituality and show individuals how to be able to use that faith that love and be able to have soul evolution. So he was known for his powerful spiritual writings, books, okay? Emphasizing the importance of love, divine unity, divine knowledge, and ascension, okay? So he taught individuals how to transcend by the practicing and connecting with dance, chanting, singing, drums, poetry, as well. And they had a new consciousness level once they were able to come one within itself, 12-12, be able to open up to the teachings and a discipline. And once they did, it helped them to have soul evolution, okay? So the teachings order past generations to be able to teach the youth and pass down the divine knowledge of Sophism. okay? They were organized, like I said. They actually use certain languages. They use meditating, chanting, poetry, music, fasting, powerful rituals okay and it played an important role for guidance for teaching for knowledge for self-development also connection with the true divine the essence of the soul 13 13 on the clock so i love you all i'm sending you all positive energy and high vibes i wanted to come on today and share some light of Sophism and let you all know how the practices was used and we also can take an important part of Sophism add it on our spiritual journey to help us ascend okay for an example they use music music is the core of creation and it's powerful it helps us with ascension it helps us to relieve stress and it helps us to be in resonance with the harmonizing field in God once we have a powerful tune on that's going to uplift us and connect us with God okay also we can take on the task of fasting fasting helps us to regenerate the blood cells it helps us to clear stagnant energy and it helps us to be empowered and strengthened even though we might feel weak when we're fasting it's going to help us and be beneficial once we're done because it's going to clear out all things that don't need to be there so i love you all sending you all positive energy and high vibes any requests any questions leave them out in my description below and i'll be glad to assist you angel number 444 on the clock I love you all so much. Excuse me for the wind, but it feels so beautiful out. I love you.
enjoy the beautiful artwork of the universe and I'll be back for more. I love you. Peace and love.